Now, Auto Show TV's Driving Safety, presented by the Law Office of Attorney Lawrence Signori. I'm Attorney Larry Signori. Please, let's all work together to keep Rhode Island roadways safe. Well, this familiar face is Colonel Stephen O'Donnell, the superintendent of the Rhode Island State Police. Colonel, what are you seeing these days as being the, the most disturbing to you in terms of uh, Rhode Islanders and their driving? There's several. Um, most of it is the aggressive manner that they operate, weaving in and out of traffic without using directionals, the speed, and texting while driving. Those three are at least the minimum of the driving habits that we see. Let me ask you about, in Rhode Island, it's against the law to text and drive. How hard is that law to enforce? It's got to be tough. It is. We enforce it, but it's difficult. Um, what I mean by that is troopers will have to see the violation. They pull up and see someone texting. Sometimes the defense is they're dialing their number. In order to prove texting, you might have to get a, um, a subpoena to pull their records to see if they were texting, and that's time consuming. It's not a typical, it's more like a criminal investigation. So we are looking at that as a first step. The Attorney General and the State Police and DOT are really on top of that, trying to create new legislation, maybe hands-free. So it's crystal clear you're taking some type of device that distracts you out of your hands. Cars are probably safer than they've ever been. Are you seeing now that uh, lives are being saved and there are less fatalities because of technology? Uh, we'd like to think yes. I think there's a multi-tiered approach to fatals from working again with Department of Transportation, law enforcement around the state, and messaging it. Also, the legislative leaders have sent a clear message by legislation passing. Our fatality rate has subsided quite a bit because of technology. The second piece is seatbelts. If people aren't getting ejected from their vehicle, there's a really good chance they're not going to get hurt really bad or die. How about teens? Teen driving. You know, teens think that they're invincible and that bad things happen to other people. How are we doing in educating the kids? It's a great point. I think the Attorney General has taken a lead with this agency and the Department of Transportation. Troopers, they periodically show up at high schools. They've trained over 9,000 high school students about exactly that. But the more they hear it, and they don't just hear it from people in uniform, there are times we go in suits and ties, try and really dumb it down to them. They live in the world today. The best chance of you dying as a teenager between 16 and 25 years old is in a car. Distracted driving can be deadly. You're 23 times more likely to be involved in an accident while texting and driving. Don't become another statistic. I'm attorney Larry Signori. Don't text and drive.